If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. We play with big cash and we're blowing money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. I got somebody on the phone. I got somebody calling in on the phone. Says he's a big fan and he wants to uh, make some money. No, we'll tell him we're busy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry about that, bud. I'm at, we're in the middle of doing a podcast. So you're in. Uh, when did you get into town, partner? I just got in uh, like 20 minutes ago. Oh, hey, hey, you know, hey, hey, hey! You're looking to talk to Steve. Steve, does it cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to get a guy like me on the phone? <laughs> What's up, Steve? I'm just rocking and rolling. What's going on, boss? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Oh, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the shit out of you. You know, I support all the people that support me. We're just uh, kicking ass. Just got off our vacation. Uh, you caught me in the middle getting ready to do a podcast as we speak. Obviously, you're in town ready to get paid, huh? I am. I, I, I turned 21 in March, and uh, I, I built up a bankroll playing poker, and I'm here to play a little poker, but I want to play with, with, with you know, someone who has an edge. I hear you. Somebody that's got an edge. Buddy, I got a straight edge fucking razor that'll cut the fucking sports book throat. Fuck you, mean an edge. <laughs> anyway, listen, man, you're young as fuck, but uh, that doesn't mean you don't deserve to win. Anyway, where are you staying right now? You at the Aria or what's your deal? I'm at the Aria, yeah. Okay, because you know one thing about me is, you know, I only deal with guys that are betting big money. I mean, you're not gonna have any problem getting five, ten dimes on this game today, are you? No, I mean I don't have that kind of. Well, you know what? If you would have said, yeah, I would have hung up on you. I appreciate you being <laughs> honest. <laughs> so I appreciate the honesty. Be honest with me. How, how much you normally bet in a game? The only reason why I picked up the phone is I'm getting ready to do my podcast. I'm, I'm just, I'm honored. I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh... Well, hey, listen, I come from the streets. I come from absolutely nothing. I mean, that's how we are. I mean, just because you're a small player doesn't mean you don't deserve to get taken care of. You know what I mean? Especially a guy that's supporting the show. The odds of you getting me and the big skipper right here, brother... You would have had a better chance of getting struck by lightning or bit by a fucking shark. You must have been sleeping with a leprechaun. What kind of poker are you playing? You playing in tournaments or what? I, I, no, I don't play any tournaments. I usually just play five, ten cash games. Uh, oh, very nice, very nice. I tell, you, I tell you what we're, I tell you what we're gonna do real quick here. Now, what, realistically, what type of bankroll are you working with right now? Like a couple thousand bucks, or what's your deal? Yeah, exactly, like two thousand bucks. Two, okay, two thousand. So here's pretty much what we're gonna do. All right, we're running a promotion today. Same thing with everybody else. You got a pen and a piece of paper? Uh, no, but I can get one. I'll get one right now. Okay, well, I just want you to write, jot a couple things down. Like I said, we're running a promotion today that's going to knock your socks off. Sounds to me like it's going to be right up your alley. Now, how long are you going to be here for? Um, I'm here uh, with the girl until uh, Monday. You're here with your girl till Monday, huh? You first, got... first rule of Vegas, Tyler. Never bring your girl with when you're 21. You guys out here swinging? Are you guys running some trains on some things? Or what are you guys out here doing? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, she's, she's coming in tomorrow, so I have all day to keep up the pace. Oh, so you came out here solo. Let me ask you a question and be honest. How many nuts have you shot off before she gets here? <laughs> <laughs> then I can read you like a book. What's that mean, two? We won't tell nobody. Anyway, check it out, brother. So the wife's coming in town uh, on Sunday, you say, or tomorrow, or Saturday. She's coming in tomorrow. She's coming in tomorrow. All right, so sounds to me like she needs to uh, be able to go on a shopping spree over there to, you know, Caesars Forum, pick up a new purse or something. I mean, she deserves it, don't she? No, yeah, she does. She's a bit of a nice dinner, I think. She okay. Well, we're going to get you a lot more than a dinner. We're going to get you a fucking chicken dinner and also a winner. You ever been to Steve Stevens Steakhouse? Absolute blowout dinners and nothing but winners. <laughs> where are you? Where are you from, Tyler? I'm from New York City. Oh, brother, New York. So anyway, listen. Why are you calling me instead of all these scumbags on the internet that claim to be ninety percent, eighty percent? Now there's a good question. Uh, you know, why are you calling me, brother? Tell America. Am I on the podcast right now? Yeah. You never know what you'll end up being. You're on my motherfucking intercom right now. You never know if you'll make the air. You act right, you never know what can happen. One thing about me is I turn wishes into dollars and I make dreams come true. Fair enough? Fair enough. Let me ask you a question, brother. Don't you think there comes a time where you deserve something special to happen to you? Yeah, I mean, I, there's already been some special things. I just suck at sports betting. 
Yeah, name some of your special things that have happened to you. Because <laughs> ain't nothing happened. You're 21 years old, bro. Tell me some special things that have happened to you, would you? I mean, I started my own business. And Hold on, that's a good one. Yeah, what kind of business? Start, started your own business. That's a good one. What kind of business do you have? It's a, it's a, it's a website design and app company. Nice. I love it. I love it. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Well, it's, 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 it's paying my rent, and I, I'm proud, and I'm able to, you know, pay for a trip to Vegas. Well, you, lo you love paying rent when the rent's due, huh? Uh, yeah. Are you paying rent or are you paying mortgage? At 19, I, I, I bought my second home. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like you, Steve. I'm, you, like, I'm trying, to, trying to become like you. What do you mean? You're you're above me, brother. You're you know, just like us. You know why? Because you're younger, so you can be better than me. We just got to take you under our wing. Here's what we're gonna do, and I'm not, I'm I'm gonna cut it short because we're doing a podcast. You wanna just give them the promotion? The yeah. The, the 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 nickel owner selections. Yeah. Here's what we'll do. How long are you here till Sunday? He said Monday. Have you been smoking Monday? that shit that I got or what? Pay attention to details. Jesus. Sunday, right? Yeah, Monday. Monday. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Uh, we'll get you started on a one-time membership fee of $500. That includes a winner tonight. You can put 1000 on. That game's going to be commission-free. Uh, and then from there on, we'll go on a 50-50 split while you're here. No, no, we're not. He's 21 years old. I'm running a promotion for everybody else. I'm doing the same thing for him. I mean, I love you, Grind, and that's why I have you. But it's 500 flat, and he's going to keep his money. And wow. Then, and then once he gets back home, we'll work out him getting an account and be able to bet some other way. So what we'll do is 500 bucks. We'll give you a, a, every game we have from now till Monday. You we'll, will. Well, yeah, I will. I'll work with you one-on-one -on -one just to prove to America that I can take you 70-plus percent. Then we'll bring you on the podcast on Monday. You can tell America how we did. How's that sound? Sounds sound fair enough. All right. So, so, Tyler, do you bet when you're at home? Uh, no, I stopped, I stopped betting because I was losing so much. Well, well yeah, you should. You, you know what? You've been losing for so long, you forgot what it's like to win, it sounds like to me. You playing with a local book, or do you go through an all, all offshore account? Uh, um, I, I did it online for a while, and uh, mm -hmm. I, did, I, did, I had a book, you know. Well, hey, listen, just because you're small as a midget on his knees doesn't mean you don't deserve to win. We treat the same respect with a guy that's betting 500 bucks as the same that a guy that's betting $100,000, okay? There comes a time where you deserve to get taken care of, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to charge you 500 bucks. I'll run you through Monday. You'll get everything I have uh, in Major League Baseball. And uh, we'll pick up a solid four, five units between now and Monday. Fair enough? Fair enough. Where are you from, Ohio? I'm from New York, I'm from New York City. I, I live out in L.A. I come to this All right. Well, oh. hey, listen, time is money, brother. Okay. I ain't got time to lose. So how do you want to, how do you want to take care of that 500 on a debit card or what? But I'll come in and pay cash. I'd love to do that. Okay, well, how long is it going to take you He's to get here? He's from New York City, but he lives in L.A. Right. And he doesn't have a credit card for nickel. Right. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. We'll see you when you get here, man. Yeah, we'll be waiting for you, dude. There's going to be a big flag out there that says... Uh, Stop on by, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> should, hey, should, hey, hey, we got a cake waiting for you with candles on it. You know what I mean? What do you like on your hot dogs? Ketchup or mustard, bro? Both. Do you? All right. Well, how about your girl? She like them frozen or, 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 or softened? <laughs> I didn't think right. so, but if I had a guess, it'd be frozen. <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> anyway, listen, we like you, youngster. I just wanted to jump on the phone and pretty much show America that everybody in the world calls me, guys. Don't get mad at me because I can't get on the phone every time somebody calls. Don't get mad when you don't get the big skipper when everybody calls because not everybody's ready to pay for games that are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. You got two for one money today, kid. That's why we have a sales force of guys that sell our games for us, brother. Like I said... They get on the phone, they sell a certain level, and then when we know you're real or you're betting a certain level, then you can deal with us and we give you those big boy games. You gotta crawl before you walk and walk before you run. That you're a perfect picture example why I can't get on the phone and talk to people every month. Can't talk day. can't talk to everybody. Whole reason why we got forty people. You got a horse you got a horseshoe up your ass. You talk to the big skipper, you talk to Steve Stevens, stop on by, we'll take a picture, we'll take your five hundred dollars, we'll give you a couple winners, and uh, who knows where we could go from here. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Fair enough. Talk to you soon, brother. It's a gorgeous day out here in Las Vegas. VIP Sports Podcast. Steve Stevens sitting here with my big pal, the big skipper. What's up, Skip? Peace out. He's got a skip to the dip. 
Man, I'm feeling pretty fucking good coming off my vacation, brother. How about you? Feeling great, man. Traveled around the country. Skip to the loo, my darling. Goddamn right. It's Wednesday. What's today? The 29th? Yes, it is. 1.30. Just got back at it. I'll tell you what, dude. I've been putting on some fucking clinics in that front room. These guys yeah. are rougher than a rusty fucking razor, brother. Well, that happens this time of year. I think you're a little rusty, too, bro. Uh, I can always ride the bike. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, I've been in there training these guys, getting these guys ready to go, and I'm telling you, a lot of them are not ready. Like, 80% of them aren't ready. Oh. You're talking preseason in what, two weeks? August 13th, first NFL preseason game, right around the corner, gentlemen, two ba weeks. Back at it. Uh, preseason, what'd you say? August, August 13th, 13th. 2015, 16 season is here, and I couldn't be more pumped up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what we do um, in shame the month on of you. If you don't know what we do, shame on you, and as Yo Gotti would say, fuck you. That's just putting it mildly. Um, if anybody doesn't know, the month of August is open house here at VIP Sports. Skip, I know that uh, first season you came over here. You loved it. In the month of August, we have hamburgers, hot dogs. We have the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders come by in the parking lot. Chicken kebabs. We have UNLV. We have people. Go what we do is we celebrate the whole month of August to celebrate the new fucking season. Celebration. I like to give back a little bit. I have some chefs coming here. A lot of clients come in and out of town. And, it's like uh, the first day of school after you've been off all summer. But we do it for a month straight. Yeah, you got to come in, get acclimated again, throw a couple of little parties, pop a couple of bottles, eat a little bit. Absolutely. Get the grill going. Get Jordan to get the grill going. Absolutely. And uh, we take it from there. And then uh, next thing you know, we're off, we're off and running like we always are. Ladies and gentlemen, for the sports consulting world, for guys like me and Skip, guys that do this for a living, this is pretty much our beginning of the year. Yeah, I'm like a school teacher. I, I take 60 days off. This is just like going back to school. This is the beginning of the school year, back exactly school. like you Ronnie said. Dangerfield. We grind hard all year long, and as you know, we just came off. Well, Skip was off a little longer than me, but I went on a 30-day hiatus. You were about a month and a half. You went around. Let's talk a, a little bit about where you were, Skip. I posted a few pictures over there for the guys to see on Twitter and Instagram. I've been all over the country, boss. Well, let's, uh, let's just start went with the Dodger. Went to Dodger Stadium, went back up to San Francisco for a couple of games, flew back east. Uh, went to Philadelphia, hung out with a lot of my friends, saw some uh, old, some of the old boys, played you know, poker games. Uh, went and seen some relatives, saw my nieces, my Well, I know as a fact you've seen a couple clients. I've seen a couple. Oh, God. I mean, listen, I, 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 I've been working. I've been having a good time. Uh, most importantly, I got mom. Mom retired. Uh, helped her close uh, some deals back there, finalize a few things. Well, you're a good guy. And uh, brought mom out to uh, Sin City. Let's give it up for Beverly, huh? Give Actually, it. let's give it up for Big Skipper. Give it's it. like I said, you, that's why I feel like we're blessed. You're blessed enough to where you brought your whole family here again. Excited es about it. Yeah, established everything. Going yep. into the biggest year. Yep. Mom's, gotta... mom's retired, sold the bakery, and uh, sold her house, packed everything up, and came out. And uh, we drove across the country on a 10-day trip. Uh, so been, who... It's been phenomenal. Stopped at a Kansas City Royals game. I, I know when me and my dad... Drove back from Florida, whatever. It was me and him. We were best of friends on the way there. By the time I got home, I was like, because, you know, him and my mom weren't together. I was like, take me the fuck home. How oh, yeah. did you get any fights with the wife, the son? Is there anything that happened? So you had to get in a fight with somebody. You can't drive cross country without somebody bothering you. Well, my son and I were in the moving truck. And, of course, I was doing the driving because he's only 15. My wife and my mom were in my mother's car just following us. Okay. So uh, my son and I had a lot of great talks. You know, we talked about a lot of things that... A father talks to his 15-year-old son about. He never got uh, kicked out of the truck? Uh, he did. Uh, <laughs> about about an hour and a half away, I kicked him out in St. George, Utah. I, uh, I pulled the fuck over. Ladies and gentlemen, I had no fucking idea. I, I, yeah. He, oh, so he actually yeah, got, we got kicked out. We got out. a little argument about uh, about 125 miles away from Vegas. Okay. We went away. We went across the whole country. Oh, About fuck. an hour and a half out. Yeah, we got into a little argument. I pulled the fuck over. I said, get the fuck out. Right. And uh, I said, I'm trading you in for the plant that's in mom's back seat. <laughs> so how long? So I, I really did. So you I, drove I, the big ass truck solo or what? I got a big plant that my mom was bringing in the back seat of her car because she didn't want this plant damaged. <laughs> so I traded him in for a fucking plant. Okay? She's, she's probably had that plant forever. She's had it a long time. So I said, listen, I'd rather be traveling with the plant right now than you. <laughs> That's, so I pulled over, uh, I kicked him out, right. and I, I traded him in for the plant. But we made up. That's, oh, yes. Yeah. That's my boy. That's how you bond, man. So you guys yeah. went across country together. You guys went to several games. It was a long ride. Yeah. It was definitely a long ride. You glad to be back? Uh, Yeah, for sure. Well, I think mom's proud, you know, as you, you know, you got to I do can only take so much of the East Coast, to be honest with you. I yeah. Mean, shit, I was born and raised there. After living out here for the last 16 and a half, 17 Paradise. years. Paradise. Yeah, I People I can only take so much of it. People ask me, you know, you're born... Great place to grow up. Great place to grow up. Horrible place to live these days. As oh, far yeah. as I'm concerned. 
Right. I've always told people... Totally I'm different world out here. Happy. I'm born and raised here. It's static to be born and raised here, and it's still my favorite place. Yep. I can go to Miami. When I go to Miami, I feel like I'm in a third world country. It's nice, but there's too many third world people, and I don't know what the fuck it is, but uh, I love my town. I always will. This is a beautiful place to, to be, and with the real estate and everything and what you got going, but mm-hmm. I'm sure she's proud of you about your podcast deal that we're about to oh, absolutely. get she, started she, up here. She's excited to uh, start a new and start her retirement, and we're excited to have her. So, well, yeah, and I'm excited to have you. You know, this yeah. is the first time we're going into an official podcast deal this year, on top of dealing with a TV show and sales. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know what me and Skip like to do on a daily basis, sell deals. I mean, for me to get this guy yeah. in here, I know he smiles and acts cool. It's not easy. This fucking guy, it's like pulling teeth to get him in here to do these fucking podcasts. You got to pull a guy's teeth to come in here I'd for a seven be, figure for a seven figure deal. I'd rather be hanging out with clients on the strip. Uh, you know, whining and dining my clients, uh, working the phone, making deals, closing deals. That's you want me to lie to you? I'd rather be closing deals and giving out games and talking to yeah. people and negotiating sitting, deals I'm, all day I'm long. I'm sitting here with these headphones on, talking shit about going across the country, whatever, man. Well, we, it is what it is. I enjoy it. It's fun. It's okay. But you, you do have to bust my balls and get in here. Yeah, so you took a long break. Uh, you're ready to yeah. come back. Are you excited to come back, or are you still a little tired? No, I'm not tired. I'm just saying, you know, I've been away for a while, and uh, you're never excited to come back to work, are you? I, this is what I was trying to tell you. I, well, you just came back today. I've been here for a couple of days. The guys been coming back. They are rusty as hell. Even our experienced guys sound bad. You know, at the end of the day, they got to get their aggression back. Listen, I love what I do. So if you don't love what you do, by all means, find something else to do. But if you wake up every day and you hate going to work, I mean, wow, must be a tough life. I don't. That's not the problem with these guys. These oh, guys. Listen, I, I love what I do. So am I anxious to come back to work? Yeah. Once I you get have in there, a, I get going again. You and, have a natural excitement that yeah, these fucking guys yeah. don't have, just like I do. You don't have to put a firecracker up my ass. I'm no. already fucking lit. Well, this is what I'm trying to tell them. They're in here. Uh, boss wanted me to give you a call today no. to go ahead and give you You're the game. You're not gonna get that man. out of me. You know. That. I told him, listen, give me two minutes of your time. You don't like what I have to say? We'll simply hang up and part as friends. That's it. Boss has isolated a game on the board tonight that he has information on. Absolute blowout win. Right. Game of this magnitude will be over by the sixth inning. That's the type of game you'd like, you right? Gotta, you got to learn how to motivate yourself. Let me ask you a question. You do like making money, right? Get yourself out of fucking slow motion. Wake the fuck up. Get be yourself, on the grind. Get yourself out of neutral. Yeah, and, uh, and, yeah. Get, and get in the first so, gear and drive it into second and third right. and pound that thing until you get the sick fucking gear so, and you get the deal. So be glad I'm in here getting these guys ready because ever, as of right now, they wouldn't well, have any quality a, news for you. Oh, that's why I'm giving you a little talk. Oh, thanks, brother. <laughs> So but, I'll see you in two weeks. Oh, fuck yeah. No, we're back get on him, the grind. Get them going. We're get back on the up. grind. When, when, when the deals start coming again, and I mean, the phones are ringing off the hook. We just talked to some fucking kid showed up from New York City. Yeah. Or, just talk or to LA, some, wherever the fuck Just talk to some. From. I mean, guys, here, I just wanted to, I wanted to finish talking about that. Before we hit the air, guys, I had another person call me. I get probably 25, 30 calls a day, people looking for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've taken calls every time, but... I've came to the point where I just got to give it to my salesman now because they're, they're guys just like this. 21 years old, don't mm-hmm. have a credit card. If you, listen, if you can't pay me $500 on the spot with a credit card, you shouldn't be gambling. No disrespect to this youngster. No, no disrespect said, at all. You know, he says he's proud of himself. He started his own business. He's building websites. He's making enough if he money. Wanted to buy, he's making he, enough money to pay the rent in New York City. If he wanted to buy, uh, he'd give me his credit card. He's making enough money to come to Vegas. And take, don't you need take a credit card to, vacation. Don't you need a credit card to get to Vegas and get a hotel room? You would think. What do you a, mean you would think? Yeah, to get an airline ticket, a car yeah. rental, I mean, uh, check into a hotel. Yeah, I was yeah. born at night, yeah, just yeah. not last night. Okay, so. So a good guy. Good person, a good fan of the show. See, this is what I'm trying to explain to my fans. Yeah, we're not trying to chop this kid up. How do you not have him hate you? This story just isn't making much sense to me. But how do you have him not hate you? What do you mean? Well, like I said, that we, like right now we're blasting him. You know he's a fan, he's going to listen. No, we're not blasting him. We're just talking about what happened. But he didn't have any intentions of purchasing that week of service. I, I think he just wanted to talk to us, see if he could stop by, take a couple of pictures. That's my point. I mean, guys, if you want to stop by the shop and get a picture, do it. But you got to realize, I'm talking to... 30 to 40 people a day, guys that I have in my portfolio, the biggest hedge fund people in the world. Oil tycoons. He's a young kid. He just turned 21 in March. He comes You're to talking Las to Vegas. Steve Stevens. He I wants- have 30 salesmen yeah. that can sign that order right, up. Exactly. So all I'm saying is when you You call, don't need to deal with that. You don't know. Right. The client doesn't you guys don't have to call him. It's and, not that you're bigger than that. You're right. I mean, you're you're Steve. I mean, you come from the street. You come they, from that. You come from that world. And that's why I got on the phone. Yeah, but but you can't deal with that all day. You long. Don't that's need, why you got 30 people to handle this shit. When you call my office, you don't have to demand to talk to me. Right. Unless you're ready to go. I guess that's the point we're trying to make. Unless you have a few yeah. dimes, you're ready right. to go. and you It's know not my... that you're too good for anybody. No, not it's at just, all. I mean, it's just overwhelming. Correct. When you get 30, 40 people a day that are calling in. And, and I'm fan, blessed to have Fans been... of the show, fans of the podcast. And, you know, they want to come in. They want to take pictures. They want to go have a drink with you or me or someone else in the office. All right. Uh, you know. Fuck it, up. Listen. 
It's, it's all. It, it just it, can't keep. Going. It is what it is. We love you. We will. We'll take a picture with him later. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm all about making. Snap my, my picture. Yeah, I, I mean, I take pictures every day. Pictures isn't going to get him. Let's paid. talk about some baseball. What, I, well, Yankees I want to go to Hollywood. I want to go uh, to Hollywood first, yeah. real quick. I know. Um, I seen uh, on your Facebook. I guess you guys had a, a big party for the uh, I Am Caitlin show, out there on the East Coast. Yeah, uh, Didn't you host a? <laughs> first of all, I don't. Have tra- a, first of all, I don't have a Facebook account. Uh-oh. Second of all, uh, that definitely wasn't me. Anyway, uh, you know, Kelly, my girl, she watches that show, watched it for a little bit, made me fucking sick. Made me just absolutely fucking sick. Well, I got to be careful what I say here. Well, you don't know, because those people don't make me sick, or nobody makes me sick, but uh, the fact that they're glamorizing it, the fact that he got the Arthur Ashe Award for Courage and all that that shit. That was absolutely insane. Over a guy that had a purple heart, been shot 500 fucking times, no legs, no arms, crawled with his tongue back to his shelter, but yet he gets the Courage Award. I, I, the yeah, only, I someone should account. have the courage to slap the fuck out of him is yeah. what they should do. <laughs> now that I'll agree with. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's just I a, just have a hard time seeing it, man. This is Bruce fucking Jenner. Man. I don't. It's Bruce Jenner. Yeah. It's Olympic champion. I just want to let people know, uh, and, and boys and men out there, that it's not okay to start out as a man and uh, feel okay with it being an Olympic athlete. Because I, I don't want my boy watching that shit or falling into anything to do with it. She went into the woman's bathroom? Yeah, well, to be honest, here's what I will say. He's a, a better-looking, ugly woman than he is an ugly guy. I'll agree with that, too. Yeah, because uh, that's why he's been getting away for so long. I mean, he's... He, he, he ended up looking like a half decent woman. Right, but uh, here's the thing. Go live your life. Don't glamorize it, and don't let nobody else see it because no one really gives a fuck, and it's oh. flat-out disgusting. You're embarrassing the family, and you are one ugly bitch. Making millions. Yeah, making millions. Making millions. Doing the show, making a lot of money. The but, house uh, on the hill in Malibu. Yeah. Uh, stopping the Kardashians along the way. That's the one part I do I, like just about Just a little disappointed. That's the one part I do like A little about disappointed it. about the TV where it's going and, and how, you know, that's on the E channel, brother. As, 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 that's what's yeah. on Hollywood now. You got, yeah. Yeah. you know, guys getting their dicks cut off that used to be Olympic champions mm-hmm. and then give them an award for it, huh? Yeah. Why don't over, you cut your cock off? I'll over, give you salesman of the year. Yeah, over a wounded veteran. Over a wounded veteran. It's a disgrace. ESPN, oh. you should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you. Plain and fucking simple. But anyway, I uh, haven't really been updated. Like I so said. So, how do you really feel about that? I feel that uh, he, it's cool for him to do what he's going to do. I think he should keep it private. Right. I don't think it should be on TV. I think it's flat out Well, then disgusting. he can't make millions off of it. Well, correct. Well, he's got to be the spokesperson. Right, but I mean... Now it, he's into saving all these youth's lives and everything was, was you know, his big thing. Right. You know, these kids are committing suicide, which is a, a, a damn shame because, uh, you know, because they want to be the other sex. So. Right. Well, I mean, well, yeah, I understand he, He's, he's going to be the savior now. He's so gonna, you're he's saying that... save all these lives and... So you think he's public awareness now? He's making people feel like they're okay and he's saving lives, huh? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's well, what he would tell When you add up the fucking millions and millions of people in his community, it'd be less than a half a percent. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no one needs to see that dirty shit. But no big deal. Go ahead and do your thing, Caitlin. Get out there and slang your fucking pussy. Put two fingers in that <laughs> motherfucker. Suck your tits. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Put a dildo on your ass and finger your cunt for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got a clit in that fucking pussy you got, mate. Uh, I know you're sucking your tits, weird uh, motherfucker. Uh, anyway, how's your golf game now with no nuts? You got no <laughs> balls. <laughs> Talk about no balls, no glory, bro. <laughs> when somebody tells you you got no balls, literally you got no balls. Uh, Moving on to sports. Let's get back uh, into Listen, anyway, to our fans, we're the number one documented sports <laughs> consultant in the world. Whether you believe that or not, to what we're talking about. But we're back at it. We're all about making money. This is going to be one of the biggest years we've ever had. My contacts are bigger than they've ever had. We're winning more games than we ever have. Skip, let's talk baseball. Let's talk what these people are calling me for. How about them Phillies, man? The hottest team since the All-Star break. 9-1, like and one, they won five in a row. How about my fighting Phils? Still have the worst record in all of baseball. Well, they- However, they've been on some kind of fire, man. If you were betting against them... Uh, and Wrigley Field last week? Three dollars. When, when Cole, yeah, when Cole Hamels threw the no-hitter? Yankees, plus three dollars. Cole Hamels, plus two hundred. When do you ever see that? How many Come plus on, two? Come on, are the Cubs really that good now? I mean, they're still the Cubs. Yeah. No. Phillies went into Wrigley and swept their fucking Cubs ass. don't do shit for me. It's unbelievable. Yeah, take me out to the ball game. Cubs ain't Yankees shit. Yankees scored 21 runs yesterday, Stevens. I thought that? it was a football score. 21 to Blackjack. five. Blackjack. Blackjack. 21 to five ass whooping over the Texas Rangers. Beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> what do you think they do today? Oh, God. A-Rod? You got to give the guy some credit. I'm not a huge A-Rod fan. Well, they got Tanaka. To pitch Matter of fact, I'm not an A-Rod fan at all. Well, period. you said previous shows yeah, that you can't stand before. A-Rod. You exactly. think he's tainted. You don't like anything about him. I got to give him credit for what he's done this year, though. He looks malnutritioned. He's definitely not on steroids, and he's hitting home runs. You got to uh, give him credit. He's blasting the ball. He's having a yeah, huge year. He's going raw. Yeah. He's he's el natural. Yankees on fire. They've won eight out of their last ten. They won four in a row. And they won twenty-one to five yesterday. They're up seven games in the East. 
uh, all of a sudden, seven games ahead of Baltimore and uh, eight games ahead of Toronto and Tampa Bay. Yeah. Kansas City, the best team in the American League. I... Kansas City. Everybody said they were going to flop uh, after last after last year's debacle in the World Series. Uh, they weren't going to be the same team. They're still young. Uh, they wouldn't make the postseason. They're 61 and 38, bro. Yeah. They're nine games up in yeah. the Central. Nine games 61 ahead of and 38. Yeah, they won four in a row. They got the best record in the American League. What is that, League. about 66 for 64? 62%, something like, something like that? 61 and 38. It's pretty goddamn. Best, best record in the American League. Uh, in the West, you got the Angels and the Astros. Hell of a race there in the West. I mean, Houston's got problems winning on the road. Period. That, that's, that's Listen, do they, not. They got great pitching. They got a great offense. I'll give you some free advice. Don't uh, ever take the Houston Astros on the road, period. You're going to... You, you're going to hear me when I talk about baseball. You've heard me say this in the past. Teams that get to the postseason and teams that win in the postseason are teams that can win on the road. Okay? People, if you're listening to me right now, you have to be able to win on the road this time of year, especially in baseball. Okay? So Houston's got a problem because there's six games under. However, they're still tied with the Angels for first. There's a hell of a battle going on there. I don't think the Angels are that good. I think Houston's going to win that division. Steve. Yeah, well, write that down and put a circle around it. I mean, you got Pujols and you got Trout, right? By the way, number one and number two in all of baseball and home runs on the same team. Those guys are... You know, they're, they're, they're studs. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're phenomenal. They're just a different breed. That's a fucking uh, fact. They're I superstars. Think Houston, I think Houston's going to hold on. They just picked up Kazmir in a, a, in a big sign, big trade, rather. Um, that's going to help them. I thought they were going to get Cole Hamels. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. They went with Kazmir instead. Are you disappointed they didn't get him? Mm, not really. I thought he'd be a good fit in Houston, though, to be quite honest with you. He probably would have. That's off the Cole Hamels in his no-hitter, though. Yeah, no so, shit. So Congratulations, got, brother. So you got the Angels, you got the Astros in the West in one hell of a race there. Uh, National League, Nationals, uh, one game up on the Mets. The Mets were my sleeper in the National League, if you remember. Pre- oh, yeah. <laughs> if you remember in the preseason. I know very well. I told you my National League sleeper is the New York Mets. Uh, right. They got phenomenal pitching. Again, their problem is they can't win on the road. Steve, That's a fact. Steve, they're seven, their defense is 17. phenomenal. Their defense is phenomenal. Their pitching is even better. Uh, their offense, mediocre. At best. Yeah. Almost probably would say under mediocre. Yeah, they've got an incredible home record. I think they're the second best team in the National League at home behind the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. Their problem is they can't win on the road either. They're 17-32 and 32 on the road. Cardinals just took a couple hard losses. Here's a, te- here's a team that's one game out of first, possibly could win the National League East. They have a legitimate chance to beat the Nationals in the East. Uh, and they're 17-32 and 32 on the road, 15 games under. How is that even possible? Well, you can't, I don't know. You can't win in a postseason like that. Same thing, back to what you're saying. Like, I think Cincinnati was plus $1.80, St. Louis loss. Yeah. So there's a lot of dogs. Talk to, listen, yeah. I love the information. I know we haven't done a podcast. We're coming off mm-hmm. our vacation. We're a little tired. but Just talking a little baseball. But we want to let these guys know where we've been getting money. People look to us on, on how to make money. Like I said, the guys, I just want to set the record straight right now. Right now the, is the best time to call us. Right now is the best time to make money. Let me tell you why. We build a bankroll in baseball for football. Absolutely. There's no sense of going into the fucking new year or into preseason betting with your own money. Let's use the bookies money. Go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We're running a seven-day promotion for $500. You get all owner selections. It allows you to get everything that I got for the next seven days, build you up a nice bankroll of a couple thousand dollars. By the time football starts, have you a five ten thousand dollar bankroll to go into it with? I'm, I'm reading all these. Uh, I'm reading all these emails that people sent us, and uh, you know, Twitter comments and Instagram comments, and uh, I'm coming to Vegas in October. I'm gonna have a ten thousand dollar bankroll. I'm gonna get a hold of you guys. Oh, I'm just waiting for September when football starts. I got twenty thousand to work with. I'm gonna work with you guys this year. Those are listen. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me, please. If you're waiting till football to make your money, you're insane. Shame on Call you. Call us right now. We are beating the shit out of baseball. We've been beating them the entire season. We had the biggest first half of the baseball season that we I've ever I've had in years. Maybe my best year ever. If you're not playing baseball with us right now, you just absolutely hate money. There's no reason to be sitting on the sidelines waiting for football because you can make your money right hello, now. Hello, hello. When's the last time you went into the football season with an extra twenty thousand dollars that you made in the month of August betting baseball? They never let, have. Let that be this year. Let us do our job. VIP Sports, Las Vegas Get a hold of us. We're kicking the shit out of baseball. And as you were saying, with the value in the dogs, some of these prices on the favorites, we're betting over unders, the pitching matchups, the umpire rotation, the different ball stadiums, everything that we've talked about in the past. It's coming to fruition. It's the most consistent sport there is. We're making money. And if you don't call us now, 
Why wait till football season? No, if you don't call us now and start building a bankroll for football, just plan on not playing football yeah. at all. What's because you can't be prejudiced to the size, shape, or color of the ball. Right. I don't care if it's a cockroach race. I don't care if it's a pissing contest. As long as I got the information and it pays, that's all that matters. Uh, to you, we have a lot of sports services that follow us. Yeah. A lot of guys in the industry will love it. Shout out to all the services that do the business the right way. Shout There's out. a couple of them out there to do it the right way like we do. Sure They're not good as, as, as we do, but they run a reputable shop. Mm-hmm. To the other 200 of you guys that are trolling our social media, looking for clients, like my daughter signs up to our social media the other day, our Twitter. Mm-hmm. She gets 40 people, other services, trying to follow. Oh, yeah. So, listen, for you little dick guys out there that are trying to be like me and do what we do, we don't get any of our business from social media. You control the you control the fucking Facebook. You control the fucking Instagram. It is, it is you control funny. Twitter all day long. You guys are getting no money. You're wasting your time, you fucking idiots. Stop 99% trying. of our business comes from advertising and inbound calls. Uh, Look at this. We got a superstar in the house. We got big Dewan sitting Dewan, outside. Dewan, come in here, please. D, 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 what's going on? Sports. Sports, D, what's going on, man? Chilling, baby. I just Let's wanted to uh, yeah, sit on down. We got to get you. D, can, can you. Can you tell the people who you are, sir? Dewan Blake, currently the manager of the Money Team Fighters, signed with Mayweather Promotions. Okay, which in this world is a big boy superstar position. Want to be the first to tell you what's up, man. We've been gone. Um, obviously, Saturday night you had some fights over there. Great fights, great fights. Tell me what happened. Oh, yeah, you got some solid wins over yeah, there. Talk to them. Great wins. You huh? know, had Andrew Tabidi, Showtime, live on NBC Sports. It was a great show. I heard up. it was a great turnout. Great Stay- turnout. A lot of females. A lot of bitches. Oh, my goodness, D. <laughs> so you're in the game for the bitches, huh, D? Not the millions of dollars that you're bringing in from the boxing? In the game strictly for the moolah, <laughs> and that is the money green. I love it. Like I said, Dewan's a solid manager. How many fighters you have now, D? Currently 13. All right, 13, huh? 13, two How, champions. Two world champions. Two world champions. What, who who, talk, who have, are they? Uh, we have Mickey Bay. He has the, he's the IBF world champion, and we have uh, Andrew Tabidi, which is the uh, NABF Super champion. And right now you're over there training with Money Made and go beat the shit out of Birdo here in a, in, in know, a few weeks, huh? Work, same shit. That's oh, exactly. easy work all day, huh? Yeah. Uh, what's your prediction on that? Is it a stone cold knockout? We go in the distance, quick we playing with him? One. Don't close your eyes, maybe out kind of yeah. quick. Well, we you know we're looking to break history and tie Rocky Marciano with this win here at the Hopefully, 50 wins, yes, huh? Yes, we are going to go for that. Well, it's That'll not something that may or may not happen. It's pretty it's much already happened. Happen. <laughs> Big shout out to Dewan, TMT, Sports, all the fighters. You know, Dewan's another happy client out here at VIP Sports. Hey, does VIP get the money, D? Get the moolah. All day fucking long. Whether it's Floyd, big shout out to the TMT crew. They're like my family. Floyd Money Mayweather getting ready to fight Birdo. Everybody's like family over here. That's how we get money. Yeah, we got to talk about that in the next pod. But for now, man, we got to get going, dude. Right, I got to get back to work. These phones are fucking ringing. We'll tell you later about me having the biggest connections in the world with the richest athletes in the world, LeBron sure. James, sure. Floyd Mayweather, the biggest in the business. That's why I am the Michael Jordan of the business. Don't hate, don't hate. hate. Participate, people. Don't hate. They don't call me bookie killer for nothing. If you like making money, if you like getting paid, and you want to start building a bankroll for football so we can go into the season breaking your fucking bookies off with his money, call VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Anything you got to say, big boy? Don't be caught on the sidelines. Do not wait. You do not have to wait for football. Call us now, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Let's start winning right now. There's some big series this weekend. Kansas City Royals are going to Toronto. That's a huge series. The Nationals are playing the Mets in New York. That's a that's a big fight for first place this weekend. The Angels are playing at Dodger Stadium, the Battle of L.A. this weekend. Listen, we got the winners. We got the money. Get a hold of us. Stop being on the sidelines. You owe it to yourself to get a hold of us. You're goddamn right. Don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. You deserve to get paid. Steve Stevens, the big skipper, I'm out. See ya. Don't forget, August 14th, our official podcast starts. Big DeWan in the house. He's going to be able to cut that up to a nice little podcast. thousand dollars a day. Any, I'm taking big cash. And I'm with money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb. On the Vegas strip. Making bitches in my mansion. Dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind. But I started out with nothing. Dealt me a bad hand. But I still won bluffing. I'm Steve Stevens. I make G's when I'm sleeping. Some cowards shot me up. His name. Want to see me breathing. Nice try. 